that's that's a positive thing. Um, I don't know if this is positive or not, but there's a rapper named Glasses Malone. Okay. Okay. So never really heard of him before either. But okay, Glasses so uh, Malone. yeah, named Glasses Malone. So because okay. he wears glasses. I don't know why his name's Glasses Malone. <laughs> that's crazy. I I I really don't know why. Um, he's a LA rapper. I he does wear glasses. He's a crip. Okay. Um, friend to, uh, the recently deceased Nipsey Hussle. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's never been, a, um, to call a clout chaser, right? He's always been kind of a, he's always been trying to get on, but he's never really been, he never really popped. Some people just don't make it like that, but he's always been, he's always worked in the music industry. So he made a living at it at okay. least. Okay. Uh, record labels have been cash money, young money, entertainment, etc. He put out a record called Tupac has to die. And it's essentially, Tupac must die. And it's essentially, it's the story of Tupac's death told from the perspective of his killer, right? Okay, so I had a question about Uh this. This alleged killer, this person who they said is the alleged killer of Mm -hmm. Tupac, was he ever arrested? No, he died two years after Tupac died. Okay. His his name was uh, Orlando Tive. How'd he die? Anderson got shot in the gangland shooting. Ah. So, okay. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Okay. Right. So he he was the prime suspect in Tupac's murder. Uh, street name was Baby Lane. Mm-hmm. Now this is all news to me, right? And so I I first became aware of this. Uh, he did an interview on the Breakfast Club. Um, and this stirred up a lot of controversy. The but glasses, dude. dude glasses dude. Malone, right? Okay. But so like Glasses Malone, like apparently he was active in the gang, like because like you know they say once you're in it you never really leave it kind of thing. Apparently. Um, and so, he said everyone, at least in L.A., knew what happened. And this is what... Do you remember that recording of the fight that Tupac had where they beat this dude's ass in the, uh, in Vegas? Him, Suge Knight. I recall the whole crew. it. Yeah, they beat the fuck out this dude. Mm-hmm. Apparently, they do whose ass they with was Baby Lane, right? Uh-huh. And, and Baby Lane is a crip, Right. So y'all saying that's the reason why? Suge, Suge is a blood, so Suge was about that shit, right? And apparently, no, this is what it really is. Everybody knew that Baby Lane got his ass whooped by Tupac, mm. right? And this is the problem when you live in the streets. In the streets, well, do you remember, uh... Dude, I smoke too much weed to remember anything. The the me. Malcolm X uh, autobiography movie that Spike Lee did. Malcolm X. Right, Malcolm yes. X. Okay. So, <laughs> Do you remember the Malcolm sorry, I'm, X autobiography yeah. movie that Spike Lee did? Yes. Yeah, Malcolm you remember? Okay, so you remember in there? I remember Malcolm X. So do you remember like before he became Malcolm X when he was still Malcolm Little and he was running numbers for Del Delroy Lindo's character mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. he said, "Hey, the number hit," mm-hmm. and Delroy was like, "The number didn't hit," mm-hmm. and then he paid him off anyway. Mm-hmm. And then he came back on him, saying the number didn't hit, motherfucker. He tried to kill him, mm-hmm. right? And then later on, when Delroy was sick, and Malcolm, he told Malcolm, he said, no offense, man, I just had to protect my rep. That's the street. You live and die by your reputation. Duh. Right? And so, that man couldn't go lay his head down and be live the life that he led. Because no matter what happened... Anytime somebody got upset with him, anytime anybody wanted to discredit him, he'd get into an argument with his girl. And Glass and Malone said that. He said, imagine going home, you get into an argument with well, You didn't say that shit when that nigga Tupac was beating your ass. Right? I would never say that to somebody. But, yeah, but you know how women, you know, people get upset. Nigga, like, yo, you, you, doing, you doing all people, that woofing, you didn't say that shit yeah. when Sugar Tupac was whooping your ass, nigga. You ain't that tough. So you believe that this dude killed Tupac? A- apparently, everyone knows that he killed him. Appar- this, a- this, this, apparently, like, do I don't know. That's just I never opinion. look. I don't know exactly what happened, right? Because I wasn't there, right? And I'm not a part of that culture, right? Exactly. But this man is a part of that culture. And he he, said, he knows this man allegedly, right? No, he didn't allege shit. He we're knew. saying allegedly. We're saying allegedly, right? Glasman, go go listen to the interview. It's very like eye opening. And he said that he told it from the perspective of this guy. He said because. Yeah, it's Tupac, right? And it's terrible they died, but Tupac was out there doing gang shit. Understand the name of Tupac? Tupac must die, mm-hmm. right? And it's a very—it's like he. It's, is it on YouTube? 
Yes, it's on YouTube. Um, would you go watch it right now? I'm gonna listen. Stuff. Oh, okay. okay. Well, I'm talking. So, like, he's he's talking about it from the killer's perspective. That uh, so this is how the story goes, right? Apparently, him and his uh boys they went down to Vegas to see the fight, to see the Tyson fight, mm-hmm. right? And they were just having a good time, gambling, you know, percolating, having a you know just. Having a good grand old time. Adult fun. Right? No bullshit. No nothing. And they run into Suge and Tupac. I like the music. Right. The music is... It's it's a dope song. It's a dope song. It's a good... And he's a good storyteller. So, like, I'm going... Is this go, Tupac? Ugh. It starts with Tupac talk singing? The Hail Mary thing? Wait, what are you looking at? Let me see. No, that's not it, baby. No. Is it by Glass and Malone? No. Hmm, no. Give it to I'll me. Find, I'll find it. I'll give find it to me. Give it to no, me. No, I found it. I'm about to say that's. I'm like that's I'm no. Like, this is <laughs> no. Um. So oh, there's a video too. Yeah, it's a video. It's a whole thing. Okay. It's it's really well done. So he. I'll take back what I said about liking the music because apparently that wasn't the same thing. Well, yeah, you like Tupac. So it, essentially, what Glass has said is that when Tupac injected himself into that culture. Oh, this is fucked up. Go on. Yeah, he, it's, he's telling the whole story. So, when Tupac injected himself in that culture, when he beat dude's ass, like, when he joined in on a gang fight like that, he made himself a part of the streets. And there's no one above the street law. You know what I'm saying? There's mm-hmm. just, there's, there's the code. And so, Baby Lane was like, I had to get this motherfucker. And they were searching for him, couldn't find him, and just happened upon him and lit his ass up. Mm. Lit him up. And the reason they knew what car to shoot in was they heard some chick going, oh, they go Tupac right there, pointing at the car, because they didn't know which car he was in. Mm-hmm. And they pulled up alongside of it. And the rest is history. And aired him out, yeah. Still don't think Suge has something to do with that. Well, I mean, technically Suge does have something to do Just with it. Just like I, I feel Puffy has something to do with Biggie. You think but, Puffy has something to do with Biggie getting shot? Mm, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I don't know about that. That's my my opinion. I don't know about that. I, Again, my opinion. Okay, what makes you say that? It just feels right to me. He be working behind the scenes, man. This Puffy, is all a legend. I don't, I don't, think, I don't think Puffy got <laughs> that no, in him. Okay. Of he course, got, it's all got, a legend. He got money, though. <laughs> yeah, but, Speaking but, of Puffy. But Puffy was, like, Biggie was worth more to Puffy alive than dead. Mm, I mean, he's still, making, he's still eating off that nigga. He ain't, nah, he ain't eating off him the way he would be, though. Oh, okay. Well, look. Like, again, I mean, look, he got two albums out of Biggie. opinion. Biggie built that label. Okay. Like, like he, he had two albums. They're both classics. Yes. Right? They're both classics. And like, you want to keep him alive and writing. Ready for Die. I love it. Ready to Die is fucking amazing. So, speaking of Diddy. Uh-huh. This is just a little gossip for you. Okay, a little gossip for you. My. Diddy is dating Lori Harvey, who is... Steve Harvey's, Steve Harvey's daughter. Stepdaughter. Stepdaughter, okay. With Marjorie Harvey... Lori Harvey is in her 20s. Lori Harvey was dating Diddy's son. Uh huh. Oh, I remember about that. <laughs> dating Diddy. Yeah, nigga, okay. you gross, Diddy. This is this. You taking your son's gross. leftovers? That is Ugh, gross. Nigga, you nasty. But on the bird side, she's securing the goddamn bag. Because you get the bag from the daddy, you don't get the bag from the son. But I digress. I mean, how you gonna fuck? Diddy how you gonna Lori fuck on are your on vacation with Steve Harvey and Marjorie Harvey in the, Italy right now? Okay. And it's, I'm just looking at this. Show, I'm like, I bet you his son is. I'd be pissed if you was his son. Yes. I'm gonna say it already broken up. Don't matter, dude. That's, dude. Which son this is, how is you it, doing me? Yes. This how you doing me, Dad? This how you treat me? This is what you doing? I mean. I'm just saying. It it depends on how over her she is he is or not. If he if he still carry feelings for her, then yeah, it's, he go feel some kind of way. But if he he don't give a fuck, then he don't give a fuck. It clearly, all depends on how he feel about it. Clearly, Diddy don't give a fuck. Nah. Just, ugh, gross. But Diddy don't care. Well, it's whatever, man. Morgan Freeman was fucking with his uh. No, it's not because of her aunt. It's because his son no, had. I mean, her. But I'm saying these boundaries, they don't care about that oh shit. Oh my god. They don't care about that shit. Not at all. Wow. Okay. But I just wanted to share that with you. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> weird. I was like, this is, a, this is the craziest shit. Uh-huh. And they all just hanging together. 
a mama cool with it. Of course she is. I'm just saying, because if you know her mama history, then you know she cool with it. What's the mama history now? You you just brought it up allegedly. Let's, what's the alleged mama's history? She um, now the story is mm-hmm. that she has two kids mm-hmm. by cousins. Now the dude then came out and said wow. that that dude wasn't his cousin. I haven't read it though because mm-hmm. I'm behind on my gossip. Mm-hmm. Um, so I haven't read what he had to say fully. Okay, but that was the, always been the story. Mm-hmm. That okay? she kind of out she there. She was a drug queen pen. Oh, that makes sense. So. Steve Harvey, ghetto as fuck. Yeah, he is. Coon. Another coon. Mm-hmm. Another goddamn coon. And you know what? I don't... By the way, y'all, when the Harry Tubman movie come out, go see it. Oh, I'm gonna watch the fuck support, out of that. Okay? That shit looks amazing. Harriet Life was very interesting, and I know it's a slave, quote-unquote slave movie, but Harriet Life I don't, was more I don't, than I don't think Harriet's really a... From the Underground Railroad. I'm nah, saying. yeah. She was a fucking I mean, spy. If you watch the episode with Crystal on Drunk, Drunk History, History yeah. you'll find out about Harriet. And then you'll make you want to watch the movie. So mm-hmm. watch that, the Drunk History and episode. For, and for those Crystal. of y'all who want to connect Harriet Tubman to the to the present, Lil Duval. What? He's her ancestor. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, how the fuck? No bullshit. <laughs> I, I'm not saying it's not. What I'm saying was, how did that connect? And you just told me how, so there you go. There you go. That like that's that's their ancestor. You, I wonder how Harriet would feel about her her ancestor. What about Lil Duval? She'd yeah. probably be happy as fuck. I don't know. He out here living his best life. Yeah, that free as fuck. Okay, so yeah, he uh, yeah okay. Harriet Tubman just wanted like she didn't pick between black people. She wanted all black people to be free and do whatever the fuck they want to do. I know. I know. So like I like I don't I don't think she would have a problem with I that at all. I was what she would think. Because I'm curious about what she would think about all of this. Well, I mean, but well, I was, well, you know, <laughs> she probably would be. <laughs> I should have never said you niggas. No, I don't think she'd do that. I think she'd be like, we need to give some of these right people for real. I think that's how she'd be. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, 